here's something about stems. So I wrote it kind of fancy and made a little stem. They were going to color it. We haven't finished this lesson yet. It says some stems we eat are, so I was going to write the names and they were going to actually have them here in the back. I just haven't finished writing the names on the paper and they just have to match it. Some of these are not very common again on this side of the world, so they need to learn them, their names. This is celery, this is rhubarb, and this is, um, uh, what's it called? Oh, I went blank. <laughs> Anyways, there's other stems we eat here. Those are just a few. And then he has to fill in the blanks with these little words. So I put them out for him. And it just helps him remember those little facts about the stems. Stems, blank, the plant up. Hold the plant up. And he puts it on top of the blank. Stems move the blank, blank, blank from the roots to blank, blank. Stems move the plant. No, you don't move the plant. Stems move, must be, move the water from the roots to the plant. And then we blank some blank of plants. We eat some kinds of plants. Oops. It was supposed to say stems of plants. We eat some stems of plants because our study is about stem. So anyway, that was my little mistake. We didn't quite do this lesson yet, so we're still working on it, as you can see. And here, I just made a very quick little activity page. It says, make a stem of a flower and tree. So then they can learn about the different types of stems. Now, for a flower, you make a nice, thin little stem. And for the tree, the stem of the tree is a nice, big, round, wide tree trunk. So they get to do that with colors or papers or even things from the garden. Even real ones if they want. They could get some tree bark or some little stems. So this is for them to figure out how they want to do. They can do come up with their own little creations for that one. And that was our little study about the parts of the plant called stems.